Welcome to the fame of the Rustic here in Dallas. I'm your host, Tony Banks, and in TV terms, this is what we like to call a cold open, George, and yeah. that's literally what this is, right? Yeah, but it's not that bad. Just getting me prepared for the New York Giants this week. Tony, our guest, Cowboys defensive back Tyler Patman and ex-Cowboy David Bueller will be fine in this. It's time for you to man up. So it's me that has the issue, huh? I don't. I know we're doing the show inside, but I don't mind doing it outside. Sound good, guys? George? Lindsay? The fame starts now, inside. The fame. More than just the game. Tony, Lindsay, George, and Dwayne. Big names. Fun and games. Never the same. Welcome to the fame. I want to be a move, move, shake, shake, now drop what your mama said. Move, move, shake, shake, now drop what your daddy said. Move, move, shake, shake, now drop what your sister said. Move, move, shake, shake, now drop, 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 drop. Yeah. Shake it, drop it, shot it, the mama got the body on her slim waist that upper bottom she got They look good all in my face, I like when they lose, but y'all get abused DJ last got them on pimp juice, she bringing it back, blow my nigga with the stacks Like I think it with the cash, do what she do with the ass, me and my stacks, shot it fine Damn right, I'm about to lose my mind Welcome into the fame, we have our first show indoors today I'm your host Tony Banks, and the reason we're indoors is because my beautiful correspondent Lindsay Cash does not want her beautiful hair blowing in the wind. No, I take that back. It's, it's really me because I'm from chilly. San Diego, so I don't like the cold, even though I went to Michigan State. Lindsay, welcome. Thank you very much, Tony. I have to say, it is freezing outside. We haven't been here in a while, but we have a packed house at the Rustic. Give yourselves yeah, a round of applause. give it up for the Rustic crowd. Now, you didn't get a chance to go to London, but the Cowboys, now they, they've had their bye week, and came back from a big win in London. What have you heard in the locker room scuttlebutt? Oh, it's been pretty quiet. Uh, tomorrow will be their first day back, Tuesday. So they had a long, after they got back from London, had that bye week and had Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today off. So it's been quiet. I'm ready to hear some chatter. I've missed everyone. My man, my co-host, George Selvey from South Florida, also doesn't like the cold, but let's give him a warm round of applause. Defensive end for the Cowboys, George Selvey in the building. Welcome there, Mr. Selby. Back from London. Yes, um, thank you for having me. I'm glad to be back. No doubt. We're glad to have you back, buddy. Now, we're just talking about how cold it is coming from South Florida. Is this something that affects you, or are you out there bare-armed in the cold? Um, uh, when I play in the game, I, I look very... I feel like when I wear long sleeves, I look very skinny and very sorry. <laughs> so I don't wear long sleeves too much when I play in the game, but... This cold weather right now, I, I really didn't want to come out the house today. I came out the house. This is the first time I'm out the house, so the, the cold weather is not a friend of mine. Now, I hear you. That's my problem, too. When I wear long sleeves, Lindsay, that's when I look skinny. <laughs> <laughs> well, London was pretty chilly. I saw from yeah. the pictures. Everybody broke out the beanies, so I feel like that kind of broke you in a little bit. Um, yeah, London was it was very cold, but it's, it's, it was raining, but it was, it was good. It was a good time, I guess. Now, tell us some of your stories that the audience wants to hear. Tell us some stories about London, the food, the accents, any uh, any pranks you guys played on each other, any late nights out, you giving me the look, the, the stink face look. No, uh, um, you know, we, we kept it very professional. You know, we, we came over there to play a football game. So, you know, um, just going out there, it was, it was weird driving on the wrong side of the road, right. doing that, you know, <laughs> catching a cab, doing all that stuff. And, um, we did go out a little bit. We enjoyed ourselves, maybe a little bit more than we should have. But, yeah. but after the game, we celebrated. That was a good time. And we can't, you know, the plane ride was like 10 hours coming back. So that, that was the only worst, worst thing about it, the time frame and all that stuff and the weather. Were you one of the many guys that missed curfew? There was no curfew. <laughs> <laughs> Way to be in the loop. Okay, the Cowboys are sitting at 7-3 right now, coming off a of bye week. Can you just give – yes, how about that? Seven wins yeah. already. Give us, Top from your perspective, George, a little midseason update. Did you really expect to be here? Uh, what really has to happen on the second half of the stretch of the season? Um, I, I expected us to be here. You know, we had a lot of um, doubters and commentators, like 3-13 and 13, stuff like that. But <laughs> at the, um, right now we're sitting at 7-3. We're sitting in a great position. We just got to keep it going. We, we got a stretch of six games that we got to keep going. Because at this point, we can end up 7-9 and 13-3, anywhere in between. So we just got to keep it going and um, 
you know, just have a good, just like we did the first stretch of the season, just got to keep it going. Coming up, uh, we have the Giants. Eli Manning has been knocked around a little bit, but we know, <laughs> you know, you can't overlook an opponent, especially a division opponent. So what do you think this game plan week is going to look like? Um, it, we're going to take the same approach we took the first time. You know, the first time was a close game, and every time we played the Giants, it's always been, they always, <laughs> <laughs> they, they always, they always play us tough. You know, it's always a, a good game. It comes down to the end. So with that, we got prepared for a tough game, and we're going up there in some cold weather, so we just got prepared for that. Now, Lindsay, you had a, a day with George today, huh? Can you now tell us a little bit about that? You've been yes, secrets and George, funny. you can too. We spent some time at the Salvation Army. Uh, the rookie club went to the Fort Worth area. One of our guests, Tyler Patman, was there. He can tell you more about that later. And George and I were at the Dallas area, so it was great to just see some faces light up early. Thanksgiving is next week, but it's a tradition you guys have that's early. Yeah, um, it's a great thing. Just be out there, give back to the community. And some of those guys don't have families and stuff to spend the holiday with. So just having sharing a meal with them and having us there, they, they're always grateful for that. Coming up, Lindsay, one of my favorite segments. Now to keep warm, Beer 101 coming up next. Coming up next is Beer 101, but first I have to let you guys at home know you can join us here at the Rustic on Monday nights. Purchase your tickets at thefametv.com. You get free food, free beer. So we will see you here next Monday night. Stay with us. Lots more to come after the break. Bob LaBelle here for Home Marketing Services. My ex-wife, born and bred right here in Dallas, has taught me a lot about Texas. She's always saying, bless your heart when bad things happen to people. It took me about 12 years to figure it out. Smashed my thumb hammering a nail one day, and there she was. Bless your heart. That's when I realized what it really meant is you dumb which brings me to my point, still renting, making the landlord richer, but would rather own your own home and still haven't called HMS. Well, bless your heart. I'm Jason Webster of the Webster Law Firm. Unlike some personal injury attorneys, I'm not going to get in your face. I'm going to save that for the defendants who caused your injuries and suffering. It's time for them to face up to their financial responsibilities. We can make that happen. The Webster Law Firm, your personal injury legal advisors. This is Sean. We saw him holding a Bud Light, which means he's up for whatever happens. In this case, Jimmy Johnson. I, Jimmy Johnson, challenge you to a little football game. Don't get nervous. Are we ready? I'm ready. Jimmy Johnson has dominated the electric football circuit. Yeah, look at the little Jimmy run. He's hurt. He's pushing through. He's pushing through. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a win. Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. Your Beer 101 moment brought to you by Ben E. Keith Beverages. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the fame. It's so cold outside, feeling great inside here at the Rustic. I'm Lindsay Cash, joined by a new face, Tara Dollar, certified Cicerone for Ben E. Keith Beverages. Welcome to the show, Tara. Thanks for having me tonight. Tell us a little bit about what you have on this very cold, wintry day. Absolutely. Today, we're taking a look at Real Ale Coffee Porter from Real Ale Brewing right outside of Austin, Blanco, Texas. The Coffee Porter is their seasonal beer. It's really popular. It's kind of got a cult following. Uh, so I wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, tonight yes, we're so different. We have dessert in this segment. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> well, the thing about the Coffee Porter is it's brewed with organic fair trade coffee. So it really gives you that really roasty, robust flavor. And it goes with dessert just like a cup of coffee does, except it's better because it's beer. Of course, and it's seasonal. So give us a pour. Sure. Tell me about this combination we're going to taste here tonight. Okay, so when you have the coffee porter with the peanut butter pie, it's going to really, the sweetness of the pie is going to really punch up the roast notes. It's going, and then the carbonation of the beer will come and cleanse your palate of all that richness that you get from the pie. I love it. Uh, can we go somewhere where we've never gone before on the fame? I might have to just try this peanut butter pie. This is great. Tara, glad to have you on the show. My pleasure. Guys, Tyler Patman's next. We're going to enjoy this dessert. Your Beer 101 moment was brought to you by Ben E. Keith Beverages. This is Alex. We saw him holding Bud Light, which means he's up for whatever happens. So we surprised him with a new Buccaneers-themed living room. Alex, come and check this out. Hey, man. You like it? Yeah. Alex. Hey. What the number one Buck fan? I am. I love it. Come with me. Come on, Alex. Get in my backyard. This is crazy. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. I want to fight. The perfect beer for whatever happens.
Welcome back to the fame. We're here at the Rustic. I'm your host, Tony Banks, hanging out with my co-host, defensive end George Selvey. Now, my next guest, or our first guest, I should say, is one of your teammates. You're very familiar with this guy. He's familiar with the cold weather, playing at Kansas and Oklahoma State. Let's welcome number 20 defensive back, Tyler Patman. What's up there, big fella? Look at, he even has a strut to his walk like he had a pick six versus Arizona. <laughs> How you doing, bud? Good, man, good. Thanks for joining us oh, today, yeah. man. You know that guy a little bit, huh? Oh, yeah, I know that guy. <laughs> well, we've had a bunch of your teammates up here before. Congratulations on 73, leading the NFC right. East, your rookie year. Appreciate it. Yeah, you don't even know what it's like to be on a terrible oh, yeah. team. Oh, yeah, no That's losing. Not no all losing. I played for except for one year. <laughs> well, I know uh, you had the great game versus Arizona, right? Had a big right. impact on that game. How did that feel going from an undrafted uh -huh. free agent, not only to making the team, but right. then contributing on the big stage? Man, it's been amazing. Just to be able to fulfill my dream and, you know, get on that stage and actually impact the game, man, it's just been just been great, great experience. I know you transferred a little bit. You went to start out at Kansas. Yes. And then transferred in conference <laughs> right. to Oklahoma State, which is pretty rare. Tell us yeah. a little bit about that. Uh, man, it's just um, a deal where, you know, at Kansas we were kind of going through it. <laughs> you know, we've been through three different head coaches, and um, me and the coaches kind of felt like it was it was time for me to move on. And, man, going through that and ending up at Oklahoma State was another great opportunity for me. You know, I was playing the opposite, guy, uh, opposite side of a guy that went first round, sixth yeah. pick, and um, Justin, you know, Gilbert. Yeah. Justin Gilbert. Yeah, and it opened some doors for me, man, and um, put me on a winning team. And it was a great feeling to be able to go to a bowl game and, um, experience all of that. No doubt. Wasn't going to a bowl game out there with Kansas. Oh, no, no, and no. You'd no. Be, still be waiting, huh? <laughs> it's kind of like going to South Florida. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro. Uh-oh. All right. So, um, man, how you on? Um, rookie year going for you? You know, have you hit the rookie wall? You know, right. I hit that about twice my rookie year. So, how's it going for you? Man, it's, it's been good. Uh, about two weeks ago, yeah. I, hit, I hit a bit of a wall, man. It was <laughs> tough. I was just, my body was aching. Yeah. You know, I didn't feel like getting out of bed or nothing like that. But other than that, man, it's been great. Yeah. Loving it. And, you know, we're winning, so I really can't complain. Okay. I, um, my rookie year was, you know, that offseason after rookie year is going to be your most fun. I, me and Tony just <laughs> right. talked about our, after our, that's going to be your most fun offseason ever. So yeah. what you got planned? You got that money in your pocket. <laughs> I know you got something planned. Man, I ain't got nothing planned right now. But, uh, you know, everybody's been telling me you got to go to Miami. <laughs> so that's something I'm looking forward to. Take a trip to Miami, I'll get caught up somewhere in, warm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's funny. So, me and George come, just to, come to Dominican Republic with me. It's a good time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys just coming back from London. We're gonna have a little fun with these guys. We're gonna see if you guys picked up any slang <laughs> out there in London. You know, just some common terms, George. You know, yeah. nothing to worry about. Hello, mate. You know, no four-letter <laughs> words. All right, yeah, mate. You, I don't know if that Ain't Australian. That Australian? <laughs> they say that. No, they say it. No, they do. I, I okay. think they said they said it. I try to well, clown me. Let's get started with these slang terms. All right. Can all we right. do that? Yeah. Is that okay? Are you guys intimidated? Let's go. Now, all you guys have to do is answer <laughs> as soon as the answer comes to mind. Okay? Now, I have the cheat sheet over here, oh, okay. and George was trying to pay me yeah. to get some of the oh, answers yeah. earlier, <laughs> but I'm too honest for that. So, all right, the first word is bum. Not bum like Eli Manning. Uh, bum. I think I know that one. I know it too. Answer it if you know it. Be the rear booty. end. Rear end. Bang, we got one for I Tyler. Booty. I said at the same time. Well, I don't think you did. That's you guys are both on. waiting. Too what quick. good teammates. Right. Okay, oh, so you can have it. No, trip? you can have it. No, I love you more. No, I love you more. <laughs> All right, now we're getting kind of to the hard ones. Quid. Quid. Oof. Quid, I don't know that one. I'm not too sure. No, that's money. In case anybody money. out there, look, money. look, we got yeah. Johnny Manziel in the crowd. He knows what quid means. <laughs> Now, this is a little back, but chips, you know money is chips. Oh, this French fries. Chips yeah. fries. Look, fries, two yeah. to two. nothing. It's two. two to nothing. <laughs> I ain't know who's answering. All right, now this is becoming a term in hip hop, too. So, you know, you know what I mean? It's about the same thing a bird. Bird is the word. I don't know. <laughs> now, um, it used to be, you know, there you go. Oh, yeah. better say two to one. Yeah. Two to one. It's an attractive girl, a bird. Chicken now, eggs. all right. <laughs> Bear with me here. This is one I've never heard, and I love my English gangster movies. Cod Swallop. Uh oh. Give it a guess. Give it a second. That's Cod Swallop. It's BS. Oh. 
Pretty close. Nonsense. I go with BS. Three to one, George. <laughs> Come on, George. All right, now. Now you've heard this one, even you know we say this one, and and it's still English. They just use it a little differently. Not my cup of tea. Oh come that's, on! Uh, I don't. It's not what I do. That's mm, not. four to one, Tyler. <laughs> I think defensive back might have to just be, you know man. have a higher football <laughs> IQ or something. Out there What's going on here, my I'm defense not lineman? <laughs> All right, here we go. On the piss. On the toilet, the commode. Any guess? Think that's what it is? I don't know. I'm I would have thought that. that's what it is too, George. But uh, it's out drinking, oh, on, on the, the piss. piss. Now you better get this one, George. The fuzz. The police. There you go. Fuzz. Did you have that one? I no, didn't have that no one. chance. All right, couple more. Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. You got Uncle Bob? No Uncle Bob. <laughs> uh, uncle Robert. That's Bob, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not that's, sure. a, that's your and nickname, Uncle, Uncle Rob? <laughs> Uncle Rob. What is it? It um, means you've got it or there you go. Okay. The Lou. One more time. The Lou. The Lou? The Lou. I have to go to the Lou. Bathroom. There you the go. Toilet. Hey, look. <laughs> yeah, if I use it in context, they can get it. Now, lift. I have to take the lift. The elevator. Bam. What we got? Five to three? Two? Three. Oh, five, four. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think it's 5-3. You want to call it 5-4? Yeah. You want to call it 5-4? I'll right, make it right interesting. 5-4 now. Daft cow. That guy is a daft cow. Uh-oh. No hints? Stupid person. Stupid. Do we still say use fool. the word? Play? Oh, I was about to. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. <laughs> and get mortal. Get mortal. Get wasted. Oh, oh, you peaked. You, know you peaked. <laughs> you peaked. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, I think it's a tie, huh? Oh, Since we called it 5 4 going in, we got a tie with the two teammates, George Selby, Tyler Patman, on the slang, English slangs. More when we come back of the fame. To the fame. Now, this is a segment, folks, that I like to think we make an impact on the rude people out there, the celebrities. We like to comment and see if it's rude or not. Now, we had the Kardashian sisters making a little splash in the media this past week or so. We had Kim Kardashian showing off some skin, trying to break the internet. At least that's the <laughs> words they were using. I, I wasn't too offended. I didn't think that was that rude, but that's just me. But we have also have her sister, Chloe, who says the Kardashians are the only KKK to let black men in. Me, personally, I think that's the most rude of the two statements. What do you think, Tyler? Yeah, I'm going to have to go with the second one. I don't think the first one was all that rude. So You weren't offended no, by the no, skin no, that no, Kim no, had no. to show? Not at all. I as much as I, I, I don't like to, you know, see women that way. I mean, right, right. I wasn't offended, George. Right, right. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't offended either. It wasn't rude. It was a blessing, so <laughs> bless the world with that. And um, But that, that one that Chloe made, that was rude, man. All right, now we're going to see former Cowboy, former kicker David Bueller. Let's give it up for David Bueller. There's the former Trojan. How you doing? Yeah. So, David, welcome to the fame, oh, oh, buddy. Hold on. 
Uh oh. You talk about the KKK and then you introduce a white guy <laughs> with three black guys on the stage. All right, yeah, come on, surrounded. I mean, we got you surrounded. Yeah, I, I, I didn't Be dig careful that. What you I, said. I don't know. <laughs> I feel outnumbered right now. Yeah, you, know? you weren't supposed to notice that. We're trying to set you up. For I, the worst I feel case that. Scenario. I feel that. Tell us a little bit about your time with the Cowboys and, 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 and tell us uh, how you feel about the Cowboys, how they're doing now. Got drafted in the fifth round, you know, kicker. So um, you don't see too many kickers get drafted, exactly. you know. So. Uh, blessed to be with a great organization. Um, tried to maximize my time while, while I was with the Cowboys. Came from SC, so um, I loved it. This year, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a huge Cowboys fan now, especially because I know a lot of the players still on the team and stuff. So I, I watch all the games, root for the team, you know, and um, uh, seven and three, I didn't expect, I honestly didn't expect that, you know. So I'm glad you guys are doing your thing and, and keeping it alive. and. Hope you guys make the playoffs. Hope you guys win at least 11, yeah. 12 games in the playoffs. And that. Thank you. So what did you expect? Say what? What did you expect? <laughs> oh, 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 now, now, now it's honesty? Now it's <laughs> honesty? Um, I'm just going to say, I mean, I know you guys are both defensive players. The defense wasn't looking too strong in the preseason. Uh -huh. But you guys, you guys are holding your own. I mean, um, you guys exceed my expectations. I'll yeah. just say that. All right. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Yeah. There we go. Now, a lot of people don't know. When you came out, probably part of the reason you were drafted high as a kicker, I mean, you ran a, a 40 time faster than a lot of your teammates that came out and were drafted pretty high. I mean, what, 6'3", 230, something like that, 4'5", 6", yeah, 25 was, reps. Yeah, I, I, did, I, did, I did well at the combine. You know, the, yeah. the more you could do, the better off you are, you know. So, no doubt. Um, I actually wish I would have put up more than 25 reps. You know, I, I, I had to go out and kick for two hours, and then uh, I was a little tired. Took a, took a good yeah. scoop of an o Explode, a little pre-workout, you know, got got the blood flow going again, yeah. you know. So I wanted, I wanted to exceed 30, but uh, 25 was good enough. Probably doing doing 30 plus now, huh, with the core extreme. Yeah, you want to tell yeah. us a little bit Swole about the core kicker. extreme? Yeah, so I'm actually the spokesperson for a new company, a new fitness company that's being launched, core extreme. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's fitness equipment that's coming out, very uh, kind of unconventional. You know, it, most most equipment you see, you could see something and know kind of what to do. Yeah. This is, it's on the ground, you know, so I, I had to design the whole workout program, uh, name the exercises, so I'm doing that right now. Um, we're gonna be competing against like Bowflex, Total Gym. So Total Gym, Chuck Norris is their spokesperson, so I'm virtually the Chuck Norris of, of Look Court at Stream, that. The so. young Chuck Norris, <laughs> yeah, huh? exactly. the young version. Hey. There we go. <laughs> exactly. Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> hey, Walker, I'll, I'll, Texas take it, Ranger. I'll take it. I'll take it. Compliment. You know. <laughs> well, we also have a game for you and George to play. I don't know if you heard, but have have you guys ever played Paper Triangle with the little triangle football? Paper Triangle. Yeah. Yeah. Now I know, we I have know. that yeah. version okay. of that game since you're Mr. Kicker. Okay. There you we know, go. We're gonna uh, you know fits. handicap my man George is what we like <laughs> to do here. Set him up to lose every possible game we can. Always win. So good. that's the game we're gonna be playing coming up next. But we're gonna make it a little more interesting. Not going to be with just a paper triangle. Here is our field, fellas. The kicking game we were talking about. And look at your football, so to speak. We got Doritos, nacho chips. We got some uh, vinegar-based peppers of some kind. And we have celery. All right, now here comes the first kick by David Bueller. Oh, oh that's good. Was that, it's good. Was that good? <laughs> Half Something of it got in. through. Half of it got through. Now. After setting the tone so uh, swiftly, how do you feel now? I feel great. I mean, uh, I don't think George knows anything about kicking at all. Um, he knows about sacking quarterbacks, but that's about it. So um, I think I got this in the back. I don't even know if I have to go again. Sounds like a cocky kicker to me. And the kick is down. The, oh. snap, the snap was good. Laces Wide out. Right. Laces out. And, all right, David, your turn again to increase your lead. Now, George, please tell the audience what happened on that kick right there. You know, um, the footing right there, you know, I slipped a little bit. The little terrain was a little loose. So, you no, know, next time I go out there, I got to give my best and get, it, get everything settled. So. Did you see any mud out there, Tyler? Hold on, let me. Uh -uh. The, 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 it wasn't raining, so. <laughs> <laughs> Do celery. I'm saying celery. Let's go with the celery. What do you think, Tyler? Celery is pretty solid. This should go yeah. pretty easy right here. You better watch. You better close your eyes. He might put an eye out with the celery right here. Oh, oh easy. was it good? I think it was over the right, upright. Okay. Hold on, we got to go to replay. No good. No good. <laughs> Still one to nothing. Here we go. Grab your celery, Mr. Selvy. Wide right. <laughs> Again. What'd you say? Tyler, you had Wide a better right. angle. Wide right. Wide right. Oh. He just keeps pulling it. Keep pulling it. <laughs> 
Now let's go with the last round, third and final round. If you hit this one, it's basically game, set, match, huh? Let's make it interesting. Yeah, let's put the pressure on. Ooh, the pepper now. Yeah, those are very flaccid peppers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he got one. Go. He got one with a firm tip. What a tie. <laughs> oh, oh my God. It's wide. It's back, 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 back. Wide right. Wide All right night. every time. All right. I, I think you do, man. Just to put, you know, put the foot on his throat. Ooh, that is a. I know, huh? Let me. Splash guard. Oh, wide right. So we have David Bueller as the winner. See, we always set you up, George, so you lose the games, okay? That's what we do here on the fame. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for being ultra competitive. Thanks for your win. Congrats on your win. Tyler, thanks for coming on. Stay tuned for the Dan Quinn Band, the acoustic sounds. The fame, come back next week. We'll holla. Every time you get on dress, I hear symphonies in my head. I brought the song just looking at you. And the drums swing low, the trumpets they go. The trumpets they go. Whenever you're gone, is it weird that your booty reminds me of a, a Katy Perry song? Katy Perry song, is it weird that I hear trumpets? Whenever y'all turn me on, and when you turn me on, is it weird that your brow reminds me of a Katy Perry song? Every time you get on dress.